Hey guys and welcome to another guide for Season 6 League of Legends Champion and in today's guide we will be going over Lulu. Now Lulu is a very good champion in the bot lane, she has massive pressure in lane, she has an amazing late game as well so if it does go to that late game you're going to make a bigger influence in the game than most supports would. Um, she has amazing kill pressure in lane as well, she's very poke orientated so if you don't utilise the poke that Lulu offers I would say that you're not using her to her full extent of what you can in the bot lane. Um, I'll go over that in a minute and then you can see why she offers um, the whole snowballing scenario because in this meta you really need a, a support that's going to snowball the lane, it's not going to be passive, you're going to get your ADC ahead, you're going to get yourself ahead as well and then take the game uh, to the enemy team and end it as quick as you can because it's a very jungle oriented meta um, she nullifies the ganks with her W, I'll go over that in a second as well and it's, it's really great to have a Lulu as a support and um, so our skills enough about what she does I'm going to show you why she's such a great champion so our passive is Pix a fairy companion Pix is a wild fairy that accompanies Lulu wherever she goes Pix will fire a barrage of magical energy at, that targets that Lulu attacks this is just an enhanced auto attack synergizes really well with the rest of our kit and I'll go over that and um, Q is Glitterlands Pix and Lulu each fire a bolt of magical energy that heavily slows all enemies it hits an enemy can only be damaged by one of the bolts. So this sends a big uh, roll of magical energy as it says um, straight ahead of Lulu once casted. If it hits um, an ADC, it hits anybody, they're slowed down for a bit and you can proc your spell thieves off that. You can get an extra couple of auto attacks in and you'll be relatively safe because it takes down uh, either mobility a lot. Um, by saying that it synergizes well with her E, which I'll go over in a second, so our W is Whimsy, if cast on an ally it grants some movement speed for a short time. Um, if cast on an enemy, turns them into an adorable critter that can't attack or cast spells. So there's two things to this, you can cast it on an ally, it's great for trading, it gives them the movement speed to get in and out without them getting caught in the auto attack range. Um, it gets them out of danger as well. If cast on an enemy, turns them into an adorable critter. So it basically means that you can nullify the damage output from a certain target. If you whimsy the correct target in a team fight, that team fight could be over before you know it. Say for example they have a fed um, a fed mid laner. You whimsy the mid laner, they don't get the initial burst of damage off, you can maybe burst in one of the champions or them because they can't go anywhere once they've cast um, your whimsy, they're basically stuck in a polymorph um, and they can't do anything. So they can't flash away, they can't, you know, they can't cast any spells. So it's fantastic um, for Lulu to have this. Um, it's good for your 2v2 trades as well in the bot lane, if they have a blitzcrank they grab um, they grab your ADC, you walk up to their ADC, you whimsy them, it takes away the kill pressure in the lane for sure. Um, her E is help picks, if cast on an ally, commands picks to jump to an ally and shield them, so she has a shield. He then follows them and aids in their attacks as well. If cast on an enemy, it commands picks to jump to an enemy and damage them, he then follows them around and grants you vision of them. I would probably keep this to your ally, however it's totally up to yourself how you play uh, Lulu, she's very flexible. Um, I like to keep the shield from ally and it's imperative to have that in the laning phase as well to keep them um, from taking that chunk of damage. So it gives a little bit of sustain on top of that as well. So our R is wild, growth Lulu enlarges an ally knocking nearby enemies into the air and granting the ally a large amount of bonus health. For the next few seconds the ally gains an aura that slows nearby enemies. So this is fantastic. Fantastic if you have a Yasuo, um, your knock up works for him as well, he can ult off of your ult if you know what I'm saying, um, but if he ults by himself, he catches people in his tornado, he jumps in, he does his damage, you ult him again, um, he can then apply the slow and get around them as well, so it can almost be 2v5 with Lulu, she's fantastic for that, and like I said she offers a lot of kill pressure in lane too. Um, one thing I want to say as well, once you cast E on an ally, um, if you cast Q at the same time, your Q will come out of picks, your passive. So it's like a Zed Shuriken, if you cast a Shadow and he Shurikens, 
it goes this exact same as Lulu. That's one thing to keep in mind. It offers more trading potential for your allies as well, and you can get that extra bit of damage in. So the way that I would max this, because she's a poke orientated champion, I'll go Q, E, W, and then R. Um, obviously, you you prioritize R every time it comes up, but however, you want to keep that Q upgraded so that you can apply the extra slow, the extra amount of damage as well. Um, you take E because that is your shield. You take that. Um, and then you take you take your whimsy. At level two, you can either take your shield or whimsy. It doesn't really matter. It depends if you're up against someone like a Shaco or an Evelyn, someone who needs that level two gank, um, and you think that it's going to happen. Take whimsy so you can nullify it. That's basically all you need to do. Um, so that is our skills. Uh, we'll move on to our runes. So this is a rune page that I choose for Lulu. I take nine hybrid pen reds, five seal of health yellows, four seal of armor yellows, nine glimpse of cooldown reduction blues, and three quintessences of armor. This is totally um, situational. Um, I take the cooldown reduction because I want to get as much Qs off as I can. I want to get shields off. I want to get whimsies off. It's really handy to have that seven. Uh, I think it's like seven point five percent cooldown at the start of the game. And you got to remember, um, in my masteries, I include uh, I think it's intelligence, so that your cooldown reduction it starts with five percent. So at the same time, you're going to start the game with thirteen percent cooldown reduction. So that's fantastic for Lulu, and uh, you can't really get any better than that, to be honest. For a poke oriented champion, hybrid pens. That's totally up to you. You can take magic pen. You can take attack damage. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, I like the balance of health and armor as well, but you like that extra health for the sustaining lane. Um, so again, situational. Experiment. You want to try something else? Try it. It'll probably work on Lulu. Um, again, ability quince as well could go with her if you really want to apply the damage. Um, so our mastery is a 0, 18, and 12. I like to take bandit. So gain one goal for each nearby minion killed, and three extra when hitting an enemy. Not 10 because she ain't melee. Intelligence, like I said, cooldown reduction capped to 45%. You start with 5% uh, to get off those Q's more. Thunderlords decree your third attack or skill calls down a lightning strike that does 30% of your bonus attack damage and 10% um, ability based on uh, based on the level. So again it applies to your poke. Um, it's fantastic in lane and you can't get any more than that. So in resolve I end with perseverance and um, plus 50% base health regen increase the pl uh, plus 200% when below 25% health. So if you're getting poked down a lot that kicks in and it keeps you alive um, in the lane. So that is a really key component to keeping on Lulu as well. The extra health is fantastic for the regeneration when you're down low as well. Um, so it gives you that sustain. So that was the masteries. Now we're going on to our builder. Builder is relatively straightforward. I love to build Lulu like this all the time. Um, I'll always head for that Frost Queen's claim. That is imperative to do. It gives you the spooky ghost active. It gives you the extra ability power as well. It's a fantastic item on Lulu and you should always build this probably nine times out of ten. Um, the only other option that I can say would be Ancient Coin and I probably wouldn't do that. And like I said, she's a she's a poke orientated champion. You need to use that as much as possible. Um, Sight Stone is a key on any support so you want to grab that. Um, boost some mobility with the Alacrity upgrade. Now this is key because it gives you the movement speed so it's totally movement speed or movement speed for Lulu. Um, you can take other um, other boots if you wish but I would always take boots and mobility on her um, just because I like that speed boost to get back in the lane to get into certain situations that if you had other boots you probably wouldn't make it to. Um, so defensive frozen heart is good if they have a really um, attack speed orientated AD team. Um, of course it's totally up to you. It also adds to your cooldown reduction as well. Lockout of Iron Solari is an item that I probably pick up on her all the time since I don't take any magic resist. I'll probably pick that up if they have a bursty champion such as a LeBlanc or a Diana, someone like that who can kill you relatively quickly. Um, Banner Command is good. Um, it gives you lane pressure as well. Uh, ZZ Rock Portal exactly the same um, however I probably leave that in a lane where you're not going to siege uh, banner command you want to get that siege minion upgraded and then push down the lane uh, Mikael's Crucible if you get in a tight situation they have a lot of CC and you want to keep someone alive this is for sure to take 
and uh, it's a fantastic item to have. Uh, Zeke's Harbinger, if you want to apply uh, that snowball effect to your ADC even more, is very viable on Lulu and I would recommend this. However, I probably think personally that there's other items that you can use um, that are probably better than that. Randy and Zoman is perfect on any champion. If you get focused down a lot, which your positioning should not catch you uh, being focused a lot, you take Randuins. However, I probably wouldn't on Lulu. Spirit Visage again gives you magic resist and the health, so it's a relatively good item to have on Lulu. Although I think it's a selfish build, and I think that you can apply um, more team oriented items beforehand. Um, in the offensive, you would take Morella Namacon to nullify the healing effect, so I would always take this on Lulu so that um, the healing effects on the ADC is taken away and your poke is even stronger. Um, and then you have Rabadon's Death Cap if you need that late game damage, although you shouldn't. So that is Lulu. So what do I think of Lulu? Lulu is a fantastic champion. Once you utilize all of her skills, um, you utilize her build as well. She's fantastic in lane, offers great snowballing potential and keeping your ally alive. So this has been my Lulu guide, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's encouraged you to play her. Um, she's a fantastic champion, like I said, and I shall see you in the next one.